Oh my god, it... What's up, people of the internet? My name is Hondro, and I am seated here again today with Forrest, aka Funky Dude One. He has been kind enough to bring over not only his Switch, but his Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, as well as all the little trinkets that go along with things, it. The controllers and the and everything. Yeah, so this is pretty exciting. I'm actually going to get my very first mystery box that is going to unlock Meltan. So. What we're going to do is I'm going to sync up to his Switch. He's already done this for his own account, but what's really cool is if you have somebody that owns the game and you're like me and you don't own a Switch or have the game, you still have the opportunity to get those mystery boxes as long as you can sync to that person's Switch. And since the Switch is a portable device, you can do it on the go. You can do it if you go over to a friend's house that has it, you can do it there. So we're actually going to do that right now. He has gotten far enough into the game because you have to get to where? Fuchsia City. You have to grind to about halfway through the game. Yeah. Um, I have four gym badges. Um, this time that I'm going to show you as far as playtime isn't quite accurate. I spent, so is that 16 hours? Yeah, okay. I spent quite a few, quite a bit of time trying to shiny chain hunt in this game. Sure. So there was a, a little bit of time that was added in there of trying to chain Pokemon together to get a shiny. Because that's a new feature you can do in this game. Um, can definitely show you more of this game here after this. We'll we'll do a separate video probably. But you but you would guess if you were if you were going straight through how how long do you think? I it's, would say anywhere from about six to ten hours max. You'd probably get to Fusion City if you just went. Yeah. Um, that's I stopped to fight every trainer along sure. the way. Did everything. Was catching Pokemon. So if you just went straight to Fusion City. It's probably closer to the six hour or maybe even less. But... I'm, I'm a completionist too, yeah. so I would probably do the exact same thing that you yep. were doing. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So uh, with your in Pokemon Go, there is settings option. So I'm going to pull up the settings. And right uh, where you would normally go to sync to your Go Plus, there is an option there for Nintendo Switch. Um, so then I click on Nintendo Switch and then I have an option to connect to Nintendo Switch. So I'm so going as soon to pull as I... up the settings in here. Oh, wrong area. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to pull up the settings right in here. And it's going to give me warnings about pairing and all this stuff. Okay. okay. So Switching you. So, an okay, so you're searching and then this is searching. And now it's found. Oh, Loco's Loco, account. Loco Hondro, there I am. And you said you want to pair it with the game? Yep. I can now transfer Pokemon from his game into my game. Okay, all right. And then Simple. It's... That took five seconds. And then this little thing says when you connect Pokemon Go uh, with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, certain limited data will be shared. Okay. Uh, please see the L part. Of... Okay, so it's just it's just a warning knowing that Basic your, warnings. your data is being shared from game to game. Okay. But that so was now, quick. So now, how do we do this? So now, <laughs> I'm going to go in here. Uh, you'll now see in your game, actually, if you go to your Pokemon selection, mm -hmm. you will now see a Switch icon next oh, to okay. your search bar. Yeah, up in the top right corner. So when you click on that, it'll show you the Pokemon that are eligible to be traded over. Okay. Um, it won't show you anything that doesn't have a star next to it. Like oh, if you favorite okay, it. okay, okay. Um... Interesting. But anything that is eligible to trade, you can trade. Um, so you can select any of these Pokemon. Okay. Actually, trade over uh, one of those that require the trade evolution. You have those for champs. I can actually take a champ from you. Super Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sparky. Okay. I can good. give you one, Machamp. You're fine. All right. You, we, we still good with the Jigglypuff right yeah, now? Yeah, we're still good okay. with Jigglypuff. We're going to do a basic Jigglypuff real quick. All right. Show you the whole process. So I'm going to go in here into my screen. I'm going to click bring a Pokemon. So then I can hit send to Nintendo Switch. You're allowed to have a let, I think there's like 15 or 11 different, how many is it? 20 parks. And each park can hold 50 Pokemon Oh, in it. wow. So you can so have. So you could transfer, a, how, wait, 20? 20 parks. So 50, 20 yeah. times, whoa, that's, is that, wait, is that Mass a thousand? Um, it's a thousand, right? It's a thousand. Maybe yeah, a thousand or twenty. T yeah, yeah, it's twenty. T yeah, it's that's a thousand Pokemon. So you could tra you could essentially transfer a thousand Pokemon 
to from Pokemon Go to Let's Go, and hold them there because yeah, and you can don't hold you, them don't here. Don't you catch them too? And you can catch them from these parks, and it removes them from the park, but adds them to your party in the game. So this is additional storage, not counting the actual storage that you have in the game itself. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna select a Go Park. I, it's now gonna try to connect to each other. It gives me that last one here. Searching for Nintendo Switch. pretty exciting guys i know right so this is gonna be <laughs> loco hondro's account has been found receive receiving the pokemon i like i like these animations oh and i got a jigglypuff candy nice from transferring it counts as transferring a pokemon okay. away so i now have the pokemon in my go park one okay you will get a notification with oh, experience yeah. points. He oh gets yeah. Oh yeah. hundred experience 100 points. One hundred XP plus my mystery box. Is Open now the available. mystery box in your bag for a mysterious effect. There we go. Alright, so now if I close out of here and go into my items. Scroll down. Boom! Right under incense mystery box. A mysterious old box, opening it causes a certain Pokemon to appear for a limited time. And if you're unaware, that <laughs> limited that certain limited time, Pokemon? that yeah. certain Pokemon yep. for a limited time is Meltan. And the rates, which we've discussed before, if you're walking and moving, which is, I'm going to cut to me in the park walking and moving with the mystery box. So I'm not going to open it here. I'd like to, but you don't, it basically works like an incense. So... Unless you're moving, you don't get quite as many spawns. So the average, if you're moving, you get about 10 Meltan spawns. Yes. And if you're not moving, if you're at home just sitting here, you'll you'll probably get about three, maybe four. So best to open the mystery box when you're out playing somewhere. So that's what I will do. Um, but I do before we get to that, Forrest, I want you to kind of go over some of the other benefits that you get between go and let's go okay um well do we want to do this part too yeah so yeah we, yeah go so ahead go ahead and go catch that jiggly so buff. after a pokemon's been transferred over to this game you can go back you go enter to a go park it'll show you how many pokemon obviously the one jigglypuff is in here you select it it's going to bring you into the park you can see them all and just view a collection of pokemon or you can capture it so Right now, it's pretty empty because there's only one Pokemon in here, but Jigglypuff! there's the Jigglypuff. <laughs> you can actually interact with it. I'll push it around somewhere. I know, right? <laughs> It'll show the original trainer name and the actual location where it was captured, so it says Scottsdale, Arizona on there. Are you, are you far enough in the game to see its IVs and stuff? Um, I don't have the appraisal unlocked oh, okay. in this yet. I think it's right after this. Oh, okay. So... Um, so we'll have to see, because this uh, this was a garbage Jigglypuff. It was like yeah. a random catch that was across the street. It so. does re-roll the IVs and moveset okay. as well. So don't be transferring any of your special Community Day Pokemon, like your Surfing Pikachus, all those yeah, things. Yeah, or any of your it, it'll 100 IVs or good stuff, because it's just like it works with trading. It's going to re-roll. This does moves as well, though, too. Yeah. So don't think that you can transfer. Yeah, legacy, the, legacy yeah. moves or whatever. Well, and the legacy move wouldn't really apply to this game anyway. Um... Important to note, though, because it's Scottsdale, Arizona, it means it's canon. It means that Kanto is now in the same world as our actual world. Right now. <laughs> so the more you know. So we are we are canon. Uh, so the options here: you can either move it to a different park if you want, or you can click capture. Then it'll go right into the actual capture sequence. And I really like this because they figured out a clever way to use either the Wii Motes or the the Pokeball accessory. And it's the real life interpretation of Pokemon Go. So if you're a fan of catching, I mean, if you're a fan of how the traditional battle and catch system works in every other Pokemon mm -hmm. main series game, you're probably not a big fan of this. But as a Pokemon, like I, I really enjoyed in the original games battling and weakening a Pokemon because that took some skill because you didn't want to make it faint. So you wanted to battle it enough so it was weak and easier to catch. Whereas this is just, it's straight up basically Pokemon Go, but 
actual interaction where and you get to throw the ball. There are still certain Pokemon, like I've encountered my first Snorlax in this game, and it does require you to defeat it within a certain time first. Really? To calm it down to be able to capture it. Okay. Um, so but that's a full that's a full defeat, and then it takes you to a full catch defeat, screen. and then a catch screen. Okay, interesting. Almost like a raid battle. Interesting. Where you do that. Okay. Um, the entire game is controlled via this or a Joy-Con, obviously with it. But there's a button on top, which is essentially your B button. This button is your control stick, and, and if it, you click it in, it's an A button, a selecting button. And then if you shake it, there's different things that can happen based on your options, settings, all that stuff that can be accessed that way. Mm. But uh, you control, you can go into your bag. I can go in here and either select a different type of Pokeball that I have available, different raspberries and things that you can give it uh, to calm it down or capture it because the circle system still applies here. Different color systems and circles dictate how hard it is to catch. Okay. Uh, but I'm good with just using this one ball real quick. I'm gonna say, you say, get ready. And then the ring and everything is here. So because it's over to the right in this one, I'm actually going to take this, and when I throw it, I'm going to throw it that direction. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, when you're playing in handheld mode on the Switch, you actually control it by... You can control oh, this you can cursor pivot, by you can moving it. it. Um, we'll try again. Now it's in the center, too. Boom! Look at that. Excellent, excellent throw! Excellent. And it, important to note on Let's Go, the ring continues to shrink after you've thrown it. Yes. Unlike in Pokemon Go, where as soon as you let go of the ball, it stops. So the timing is different. Yeah. Um, the cool thing, this does make noise every time you capture something. It does vibrate and have haptic feedback, so it's pretty realistic. And, and how, how a, long does the charge last on that thing? Um, I think it's about three hours or so. Oh, okay. But it's a regular USB Type-C charger. Oh, okay. So even car chargers, everything works for it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really cool, really easy. You get experience points when you capture something. Um, that is a new registration in my Pokedex on this game. Oh, nice. So that's helpful. It displays all of its stats as far as your lowest and best height, personal records, how many you've caught, all that fun stuff. Um, you tucked Jigglypuff away. Tucked it into a bag because <laughs> you don't have PCs in this game. All of it is uh, in your access through your bag. All of your Pokemon storage. So similar to Pokemon similar, Go. Okay, cool. Um, the other cool feature of this, though, if I go into my menu, I have put a Pokemon in here earlier today, um, and when you walk it around. If there's a Pokemon in here and you sync it up to your Pokemon Go, yeah. it'll automatically spin stops for you. Okay. Um, so it's gathering items, all that stuff, and based and, on... And candy and things like that? Uh, some berries and stuff that it'll bring to this game, okay. but it collects all the items in your regular Go account. Mm -hmm. But based on its performance in there, um, it gets points and distance here, as well as different items. The amount of times that you've played with it, because every once in a while it'll actually shout at you. The Pokemon will shout for attention. And you actually <laughs> have to play with it. So I'll show you an example real quick. You hold in the center button. It's going to. Oh, maybe because I'm actually playing in game, so it won't work right now. But when, oh, you're, so when it's hooked up to the actual Pokemon Go, okay. If you click in the center, it'll light up, and when you roll it around, it'll actually do the cry of the Pokemon. Oh, okay. Um, and it'll, you know, enjoy being played with and everything okay. there. But when you're ready to bring it back, you just go over here, click the take a Pokemon for a stroll. It'll tell you to connect it to the game, just to make sure it has the right one. I took my shiny Pikachu out on a stroll. So, Pokemon's out for a stroll, do you want it to come back? And I said yes. So, so you had it. Oh, it just... Just did a noise in yeah. here. Yeah. It's going to bring back my Pikachu, and then it's going to give me an overview of everything. It's going to gain experience. Oh, wow. So That's it gains cool. 16,018 Six, 1600. <laughs> experience. Uh, obviously, that doesn't go a long way as you get further up in levels, but it's nice for lower level Pokemon yeah. to be able to level up. It'll go through all the leveling. That way you don't miss any movesets or anything, too. Um, see, right now it wants yeah. to light screen. I won't get the, that many. Screen. And then it'll say, here's the results. So it helped 24 times in Pokemon Go. Meaning it 
Meaning it was. Spun stocks okay. or did something, helped catch Pokemon, all that stuff. Worked hard. <laughs> worked hard. Helped or worked go. hard. All right. I don't know. Walked together 387 steps. Oh, okay. That's quote, what, okay. Quote. Um, I played with it once. Okay. So you, that was clicking in the button, rolling it around. Um, it'll result and show other things of like called out for help and then trainer played with it from there. It calculates all those. It rewards you with items in the game. So health candies, smart candies, those are, there's a different function in this okay. game. It's a little weird. Okay. More berries. And then it'll tell you a history of your records. And as you reach milestones, it will say, oh, you've reached a thousand points. Da, da, da. So, and now I'm going back into the game. You just resync it up real quick. And, uh right back into the game very cool all right well with that we are going to uh go out and take open up our mystery box we're gonna go out open up our mystery box and catch ourselves some meltans all right so we are at the park we've been uh we walked our meltan boxes well we opened our boxes and then walked them um I ended up during the 30 minute timer because it works just like it works just like incense. So during that 30 minute timer, I ended up getting 10 and Forrest got nine. We think what happened was we walk we were walking through a cluster because we were literally in sync where he was getting he opened his box about 30, 30 seconds ish seconds. before I did. And then I opened mine, so he, his Meltan was spawning, and then about 30 to 40 seconds later, my Meltan was spawning. So what we think happened is we were walking through a cluster of Pokemon, and one of his Meltans spawned, and it just was like kind of buried under the other Pokemon. Because it happened at one one of the other spawns that I had did the same thing. Yeah, because they were underneath a because just and... yeah, because just like on an incense, the Pokemon's literally going to spawn like exactly where you were standing at that point. So if you're standing in a cluster of Pokemon, you might end up missing it. So just just be sure to keep track of where you are. And it varies too. The levels of everything that spawned varied. Yeah. So, don't so they assume if it's a low CP that it's a horrible idea. Yeah. Correct. Check everything. So I got I got one decent one that's top tier. It's between an 82 to 87 percent, um, and then all the other ones I got I didn't IV check them, but they're all they're all kind of middling garbage. But still working on getting the field research done for the or the special research to get that special research spawn. So I have another chance there. Plus, the boxes go on a cooldown. So in about a week, I'll be able to get another. I'll be able to get another Meltan box. Um, the interesting thing, though, is you can actually drop Meltan onto gyms. So while we were walking, I actually dropped three Meltan onto gyms, and I fed them all berries, and I got an extra candy out of the out of that. So you are able to get extra Meltan candies by burying them on gyms. So. I actually saved all 10 that I caught. So basically I'm gonna be using them as, as gym fodder and I'm gonna be dropping them onto gyms and, and feeding berries. berries to get more chances for more Meltan candy. Um, other than that, I mean, was it really, so we got, it was just like all the other tests have shown. So while we walked the entire 30 minutes, each probably spawned, most Nine likely 10, spawned yeah. 10. Um, Cause I'm, I'm sure what happened was the 10th one just got buried for Forrest unfortunately. but. So I got I got ten. Forrest ended up with nine. Mm -hmm. So I think I believe I ended up with sixty-one candies. And I could, if I wanted to, have a full seventy if I just transferred all those Meltans. But like I said, I'm going to keep them and use them as gems to try to bury more. So, and then next week we'll be able to get another Meltan box each and do the same thing again. Absolutely. So again, Forrest, thank you so much. This was this was a whole lot of fun. And then we'll go uh, we'll go back to uh, back to us inside. Let's, back to us. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> All right, back to us. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that was kind of an overview of the Meltan box, what it does, how you get it, and then some of the other cool features that you are able to sync between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, Forest. Thank you so much for not only Absolutely, not everybody. only bringing this over, but you know helping me out, giving me a, giving me a mystery box so that we can show the people in case they are unaware. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Forrest. You are the man. 
We'll be back here with a podcast, I'm sure, soon enough. Again, another another episode, new info as soon as they announce some stuff. So more Pokemon Go. Still no, still no announcement of Community Day. What is happening? <laughs> it's almost Thanksgiving, <laughs> and there's no announcement for December. Yeah. So, so hopefully we have that info coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Follow me on the socials. Links in the description. Big shout out to Forrest again. Thank you, my friend. And we'll be see you guys later. And until next time, I'm Loco Hondro. He's Forrest. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace, Funky Trainers. trainers.